We'll continue exploring brush categories and variants. Acrylics is a painterly kind of category. You can find your variant in the list, and this particular one called dry brush does fade out very quickly as if there wasn't very much paint loaded in the brush. Let's look at some airbrushes. Airbrushes, I think you will expect to find a number of different particles, and we have many varieties available. Artists is an interesting category which gives you the opportunity to imitate the look of a brush stroke by a famous artist from history. This in particular was based on the Impressionists from the late 19th century. Let's take a look at impasto. I'll change color once again and impasto is defined as a very thick paint. So we can look at the coarse impasto jitter, for example, and it definitely has the look of thick paint. So you'll continue to explore as you go, and suppose you would like to find a brush that you used a while back, or even the last time you launched the program, and you're not sure where to find it. There is one feature that helps you to a certain extent. The recent brushes will show you the last 10 items that you use. So you can go back to, for example, dry brush is what we used early on, and there it is again for you. So you can find recent brushes in your window menu as you can find all of the other panels that we'll be discussing as we go. So there you have recent brushes. But if you want to go back before the last 10 variants that you used, this is not going to be very helpful. What is helpful in any circumstance is a collection of brushes in a custom palette, which you can organize and produce on your own and save for use at any time. So with the custom palette organizer, I see that these custom palettes are currently available to me. I'll choose basic drawing and I'm done. Now basic drawing contains as do all custom palettes, a number of brush variants, which are indicated by the icon of the category. As you hover over each of these icons, you will see the name of the variant, and you'll learn after a while what the category icon looks like. So this is from the pencils group. We have one on the other side also from the pencils category. This is a tool or a brush from the ink group. This is from the pastel category. This is a blender, and this is an eraser. We don't need to talk about the cloner quite yet. That will come in handy in a future movie. But now if you actually tap on the item in a custom palette, you'll see that you now have that variant active. So let us then make strokes with the Real 6B Soft Pencil. Let's go to Real Soft Conti, and I will make that a different color and make a stroke up here. This is also dry media. It comes in a stick form in real life, Conti stick or Conti crayon, and of course, it reveals paper texture. Now, it's very easy to make your own custom palette. It's done by simply finding the variant you want. So let's go back to the artist group and I'll choose the sergeant brush. This is what the sergeant brush looks like. It's a very creamy sort of variant that was based on the work of John Singer Sargent from the early part of the 20th century. I'm going to hold my shift key down and drag that icon to my canvas. And now, sure enough, I have the sergeant brush as the first element in a custom palette. I can add as many items as I wish. Let's make a blender part of this group, and there are so many possibilities for blender. I'll choose grainy water, which looks something like this. It's a fairly subtle blender, and I like it, so I'm going to do shift, drag, and now I have grainy water as part of my custom palette. You can also add commands to your custom palette, and we shall see how that works later on. So I'm going to dismiss this test uh, custom palette and go back to my window menu and choose custom palette organizer. 
and I see that I've made a, a number of test palettes. I can make them go away by simply highlighting one and deleting it. It will ask me if I'm sure I want to do that. I can continue with that until I get rid of these excess items. So what's available now is Basic Drawing, X3 Scribbler, a couple of others that I have prepared for future movies. I'm going to open X3 Scribbler. And I'll bring that down a little further. I'll close basic drawing and I will show you what some of these variants are all about. There's quite a few of them and I'm going to clear the canvas by doing a select all and a delete. That's commander control A and delete. And uh, just show you what some of these variants look like when I choose the fractal jitter, and I'll make a different color for that. That's quite interesting. In the gel category, we haven't looked at that yet. The coarse spray jitter is one of the airbrushes. This has an interesting variation in color within the stroke. Let's change color when we test the next one. Sergeant super jitter. Well, we saw a sergeant brush. This is, oh my, that's quite interesting. And I'm going to show you the gouache rake jitter, which is a tool or a variant that creates a number of parallel strokes. This is what we call a rake type stroke in Painter. We've seen an impasto stroke. We haven't seen this coarse wet bristle from the oils category. That does definitely look like oil paint. And a dense impasto block jitter. Let's make that green and see what that looks like. This is not from the impasto group, it's from the oils group, even though it has the name impasto in it. So you'll find that the naming conventions are sometimes useful and sometimes not. Let's move on a little bit with the barbed wire pen. I'm going to switch to black and show you that this is a wonderfully jittery stroke that is composed of several strands of nervous pen strokes. There is actually a nervous pen in the pens group. So I'll leave you to load the X3 Scribbler on your own, and you can do that by simply going to the Custom Palette Organizer and importing this item from your working files, and then you'll be able to create any kind of image or sampler that you like. I put together this particular custom palette so that you can have a variety of variants to play around with. There is a marker here that we haven't looked at. Let's make that a blue. And markers, as you might expect from real life, get darker as you go. They build up rather than cover the underlying color. Now, as you can see, we have a couple of variants from the same category. Therefore, they have the same icon. You can tell them apart by simply hovering over the icon and it tells you what the variant is going to be when you click on it. Or you can actually change the look of the icon in order to be sure what it is, even if you're not able to hover over it. So I'm going to take Gloopy while I'm hovering over it or as I tap on it, I'm going to do a right click or a control click. And when I do that, I can see view as text. And now I can see. This is the gloopy brush, therefore this must be the coarse impasto jitter. Of course, I could make all of them read as text, and that would be a way to work, especially if you have items that are in the same category. Another way of differentiating items that are from the same category is to create a custom icon based on the actual brush stroke. And I will do that with coarse wet bristle. I will choose whatever color I like and make a stroke. Nice clean stroke there. Okay, that's a coarse wet bristle stroke. If I drag a rectangular selection around it, I can then go to this item and once again with a right click or a control click, I can capture a custom icon and there it is. So instead of the default icon for this category, I now have an actual coarse wet bristle stroke, which is the same color as the stroke I made. When I hover over it, that color will show up. So you've seen what's possible with this very powerful feature, custom palette.
the way you can organize your brushes into compact little groupings for different projects or different purposes. You can import them and export them. You can add commands to them. You can delete them and you can rename them. You will be given several opportunities to use custom palettes as we go through these movies, and many of them are provided for you in the working file folder.